Hallo und willkommen zu German Lessons mit Mr. Ferguson. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Deutschunterricht mit Herrn Ferguson. Diese Stunde für Anfänger, this lesson for beginners, heißt, wie man die deutschen Vokale ausspricht. How to pronounce the German vowels. Before we start, before we anfangen, please remember to like this video. Bitte klickt gefällt mir. And to subscribe to my channel, so that I can keep helping you with your German. Bitte vergesst nicht zu abonnieren. If you're enjoying my videos, please consider buying me a coffee by clicking the banner now. All contributions are gratefully received and allow me to continue to bring you new and exciting German content whilst keeping it free to access on YouTube. Thank you to those of you who have already contributed. It's very much appreciated. Vielen Dank. The German alphabet has the same five vowels as the English alphabet, but an additional three vowels. These are easily spotted due to the umlaut, the two dots hovering above the letter. The German vowels are A, E, I, O, U, A umlaut or E, O umlaut or Ö, and U umlaut or Ü. When you see an A on its own in a word, it can have a short sound like the A in cat or A like you're visiting the dentist and they say, say ah. The short sound will happen if the vowel is followed by two or more consonants. For example, katze, which means cat. The long sound will occur if the a ah is followed by one consonant. For example, kata, which means tomcat, but is much more commonly used to mean hangover. The only common exception I can think of is one of the German words for the, which is the word das, pronounced with a short A sound, A. Ah. If you can think of any other exceptions, please do let me know in the comments below. The A letter occurs in most German words and has a similar long and short sound, with the short sound here being E, where the long sound is E. The same rule applies for this vowel in terms of when to pronounce it as long and when as short. For example, if it's followed by two consonants, it will be short as in besser, meaning better, with the long sound occurring if there is one consonant, such as the word for he, er, or one of the words for the, der. In German, lots of words end in the letter e, whether they are verbs in the I form, for example, ich heiße, meaning I am called, or plurals of nouns, for example, tage, meaning days. In this instance, the letter at the end is pronounced as a short E. Uh. The German letter I, E, tends to be short, such as in the English word bit. For example, ich bin, I am. If a long sound is required, I will generally be combined with another letter. This could be with the letter E, and the combination IE sounds like E, such as die Biene, meaning the bee. If you want to learn what vowel combinations in German sound like, don't forget to click the thumbnail at the end of this video to watch the next in this series, where vowel combinations are covered. If the long I sound occurs at the start of a word, it will be combined with an H, though this is rare. It's generally only seen in a few words, including two German words for him, ihn and ihm. The letter O has the same rule regarding double and single consonants, so alternates between O and O. For example, short, Schotland, Scotland, and long, brot, meaning bread. The letter U, U, acts in the same way, such as in Fluss, meaning river, and Fuß, meaning foot. Conveniently, this also shows you when to use the SZ or Schaffer's S instead of a double S. An SZ is used after a long vowel sound, like Straße, street, as opposed to Klasse, class. The A umlaut, A umlaut, tends to make a very similar sound to the E, A. And for beginners, I would recommend that you treat these as the same sound. For example, Gerät with an E meaning device, or bear, meaning bear, as opposed to geschäft, with an e, meaning shop. The o umlaut is pronounced like ö in the English word first. 
It has long and short varieties, which follow the same rules as the other vowels. For example, Löffel, with a short e, meaning spoon, as opposed to hören, with the long e, meaning to hear or to listen to. The vowel u umlaut has no English equivalent, but it sounds like this. U. Listen to the different sounds of u and u and try to replicate them. Try to keep your mouth in the same u shape as if you'd just seen something you'd like to buy. U. 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 Notice how your tongue moves up and down. U. The tongue is low and behind the lower teeth. U. The tongue is higher, probably touching the back of the lower teeth. It's a difficult sound to replicate, but here are some examples of it being used in context. In this case, it helps to form the plural of a noun. Using an u, we have buch, meaning book. But with an u, we have bücher, meaning books. The same happens with tuch, meaning towel. The plural is tücher, meaning towels. Sometimes, the letter Y, which is called Y, which in itself is great, can be used as a vowel, making an U sound. For example, Physik, or Typisch, Physics, or Typical. If it starts or finishes a word, however, it will likely be a Y sound, like in English. For example, Yoga, Hobby, Party, Baby, Hey! Mein Hobby ist Yoga Party, baby. The letter Y is rare in German and is worth 10 points in German Scrabble, whereas Z is only worth 3. So, to recap, each of the eight vowels has a long or short sound. A is either A, like Kata, or A, like Katze. E is either E, like Er, or Der, or E like besser. If it's on the end of a word, it's an ö, like ich heiße. I, on its own, is almost always i, like ich bin. If a long sound is required, this will generally be written as ie, such as in die Biene. Or if the long sound is required at the start of a word, it can be written as ih, though this is rare. Two common examples are ihn and ihm. O is either O, like Brot, or O, like Schottland. U is either U, like Fuß, or Ö, like Fluss. SZ, though not a vowel, is used rather than a double S after a long vowel sound, like Straße, rather than Klasse. A umlaut should be treated like the letter E, A, and has a long sound as in Gerät or Bär, and a short sound, as in Geschäft. O umlaut has the same with a long sound like Hören, or a short sound like Löffel. Ü doesn't have an English sound, but differs to U by where the tongue is in the mouth. Ü, like in Bücher und Tücher, rather than Buch or Tuch. And finally, Y. It's a rare U sound, like in Physik or Typisch, but a Y sound if starting or ending a word, like Hobby or Yoga. It's worth pausing your video here just to recap everything we've covered, or to have a go at the sounds yourself. Keep practicing your vowel sounds. German is a language in which, once you've learned the pronunciation rules, they will always be the same, meaning that it's worth taking the time to learn it. Then, you'll be able to pronounce any word you come across. Do you come from a German-speaking country or territory and pronounce any of these vowels differently? Can you think of any exceptions? Wie sprecht ihr die Vokale aus? Please do let me know by writing a comment below. Bitte schreibt einen Kommentar. Also, please remember to click subscribe to receive all of my German lesson videos, language learning tips and updates. You can also follow me on Instagram with the username Herr Ferguson and on Twitter under at Herr Ferguson. Otherwise, from me, it's Danke. Und auf Wiedersehen.